currently there's quite a lot of uh, epidemiological studies, so identifying different risk factors, and there's starts to evidence starts to build up that exercise really is a protective factor. So people who exercise more have a lower risk of developing dementia, and that has been also shown, for example, in imaging studies that that the part of the brain that is responsible for the memory, hippocampus, when you exercise, it actually grows. So there's a quite strong evidence now about the, the importance of exercise for your for your brain. For for nutrition part, there's a, yes, there's epidemiological evidence. For example, that the different dietary patterns are important. Like Mediterranean diet has been in several studies associated with the lower risk of, of developing dementia. And then what was new what was the Liberty Diet Project. There they, they were testing this kind of a medical food product to people with a, with a prodromal Alzheimer's disease to see if that will have an impact. And it, it seems to seems to work, at least in, in subgroups and, and, and so on. So it's a positive signal in, in that respect as well. For exercise, we have seen that uh, if you are physically active in midlife, it protects you. If you're physically active in an older age, it's still associated with a lower risk. But there's been also like exercise trials in people who already have dementia, showing that actually that, that is also beneficial for their quality of life. So it for exercise, it seems to be all along that it's it's good for you. Uh, about diet, this lipidy diet study, it's in very early phases of Alzheimer's disease. They have shown that this this food product is is having an effect. For later stages, it ha it hasn't been shown yet that this specific product would would work. The direction where we are going with the, with the trials is trying to act simultaneously on many risk factors at the same time, so multi-domain interventions. So that's, that's where we are going, but in some trials also combined with the medical foods. Uh, so we start to have more and more evidence that actually when we do active interventions, when we try to affect the risk factors, then there is an effect. But of course we need to, now we have evidence from the finger study showing that in a in group of older adults who, ha who are at risk, it has a Multi-domain intervention has a beneficial effect on cognition, um, but then does it work in older po populations? Does it work in memory clinic patients? We have to move forward and to see. We need more studies on those populations.